See the cactus? Exactly like desert and it is 31 degrees at the moment here. This is another one abandoned places. Calogero just explained me the history. The name is Conziria. These are the places that where they are actually working with the leather. Probably here they have animals. This yes, here the animals have been. I can see the hooks and this will be probably water. Calogero just told me that this is a typical scene that you can see in these abandoned places around Sicily. Cactuses, old buildings, partly looks like desert, very hot temperature. Because it became like a, the trip of abandoned buildings, <laughs> I'm gonna film this small boat as well. This is definitely the most southern port of, of Italy. There is an island over there, but now the water is just too high. This was really interesting to see. The whole day was such a completed day. I think that I'm ready to finish it. So now we're gonna get straight to the highway and riding to Ravanusa because it is almost 8 o'clock and we have like 100 kilometers on the highway which is mean another one hour so it will be completely dark before we get to Ravanusa beautiful moment isn't it the colors of the sunset It is 9 o'clock in the evening and we just arrived in Ravanusa. Today I've got how many kilometers? Let me check. Around 400 kilometers. But altogether 12 hours. 12 hours riding, walking around. It was very very long day, but it was very interesting day. I saw a lot and uh, I feel good because yesterday I got day off. Tomorrow will be about the same more or less, maybe a little bit less kilometers, but the same hours. I, I would like to see as much as possible before I hit the road to Sardinia or take the ferry to Sardinia, which is a little bit more complicated, but I'm gonna explain you about it later. Good morning from Ravanusa, Sicily. This will be another very interesting day. Uh, with my guide Calogero or short name Lilo and uh, yesterday we focused mostly on the central Sicily and southwest today will be more uh, like southeast today as I said yesterday we focused mostly on the central and uh, yeah Central and uh, Southwest Sicily. Today will be more like Southeast Sicily and the coast. And tomorrow I plan to ride through the middle again on one different alternative route on the way to Palermo. But this will be for tomorrow. Now I'm gonna focus on the day. Calogero got uh, his girlfriend today on the board. So they will show me the most interesting parts in this area. But of course, first we need espresso. Espresso. Hey, we stop in this uh, local coffee that uh, Calogero is going actually every single day. This Pique Rosso, whatever the name is. And uh, they speaking Italian, but because of the face expressions, I understood almost everything and I like these people. They talk a lot, they make these gestures a lot, but everything is just such a great fun. No more than 10 minutes later, we are already on this beautiful twisty road. I hope that with these videos you will uh, learn or understand how diversified uh, Sicily is. There is a piece of everything here in this small land and it is definitely deserved to be seen. 
Maybe it's uh, not the best from uh, the business point of view or from money. As you can see, many factories are closed. And there is no much money in uh, Sicily. But uh, from a motorcycle point of view, absolutely fantastic. Uh, Calogero just explained me that uh, once in a while, and in the beginning of the century, this was here one of the biggest mine for sulfur. This is like the waste product that we've got from the uh, making the, the the petrol today. But uh, back in the days, it was very very popular, and uh, over there are the real mines uh, under the ground. On that hill was the office and they've got a huge cable line going from here to Ravanusa more than 10 kilometers to export the sulfur because it was very important they export actually 90 percent of the sulfur around the world but now because of the new regulation of the petrol petrol and all of this uh, fuels they they shouldn't um, have sulfur on it or just the minimum it's a waste product and costs nothing and they convert this part into the museum but it is closed i don't know about you but i always uh, i'm always happy to to see places like this to learn about the history because yeah the history change all the time some things get into the market and you believing that they will stay there forever and then after a few years they just finish this is probably part of the cable line Yes, it is what it is. Evolution, we call it. And have a look now, these rocks. Like a silent guardian here on this valley. Here on the left. Fantastic country. It is 9.20 in the morning uh, and it is already 28 degrees. I open all possible ventilations, include this here on the sleeves which are very very good you can see in the mirror my chests are open I feel good while I ride but when we stop somewhere oh man it's a madness yesterday we got up to 35 36 and I guess today on the coast will be even worse but it is what it is Another beautiful, small, Italian, historical town. We are going to have a breakfast here and continue our fantastic journey. Absolutely brilliant. Another very interesting and beautiful historical town named Calta Girona. See these beautiful stairs and of course the amazing Italian buildings. This town is actually famous with its ceramic tiles like this here. Absolutely great place. Of course very crowded. What time it is? 20 to 11 that is already 31 degrees and we're having one very interesting breakfast oh, sorry okay so I'm having again this arancino 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 which is the most normal breakfast that you can get in orange juice and my friend so this was what this was what brioche con tupo Granita di pistacci. So this is basically ice cream with bread and this is something like frappe. Uh, okay. Italy is great. Are you? With two arancino because this is for lunch. Ah, okay. But I'm coming from Bulgaria. I need more. Okay. All right. This stop was perfect. The breakfast was perfect. Uh, now we're gonna have one really nice twisty road like uh, 60 kilometers and the GPS says like one hour and 30 minutes which is mean there will be a lot of a lot of twisties to the countryside heading directly to the beach line to the coastline it took us a while to get out of this town even that Calogero is local he don't know the the road so he use Google Maps 
and of course Google Maps made a few mistakes but finally we're on the road that we're looking for See the cactus? Exactly like desert and it is 31 degrees at the moment here When I stand now on the pegs I can get a little bit more air and it's really really nice Chunziria or Kunziria This is another one abandoned places. Kalogero just explained me the history. The name is Kunziria and this one here was a leather factory and the houses over there were the people that work here in the factory. They used the, the water from this river and over there are actually the, the real like a swimming pools they used to clean and prepare the leather. These are the places that, where they actually working with the leather like a small vans or whatever the name is yeah sad that all of this does not exist anymore and these are basically the houses that they used to lift probably they've got a church somewhere maybe maybe this was the church yeah looks like in the 17th century in the 17th century ah, okay so far away very very old yeah so they tried to rebuild it but see what is inside probably here they have animals this yes here the animals are being I can see the hooks and this will be probably water yeah Kalogero just told me that this is a typical scene that you can see in these abandoned places around Sicily cactuses, old buildings partly looks like desert, very hot temperature and this is another one place for leather working yes, all right yeah, colder here, like air conditioning To see it from the top for a while And of course there is a village nearby that is populated But it is not in any case popular, it's just a A normal normal picture that you you can see in uh, in Italy in Sicily I think that we are now on one of the most high elevation points in the area because the temperature dropped to 29 it was 33 down there and it's so green and it's so open and I can see on a, such a far distance from here we'll go down direction to the sea let me now show you something really really interesting and it is not the landscape it's the average fuel consumption that I've got for the first let me check 148 kilometers so it was 3.7 3.7 liters per 100 kilometer you can see that the petrol gauge did not move at all and this is while well, I ride with a normal speed like 80, 90 to 100 per hour on the roads like this I travel light, I am alone this is understandable but this is still a very very good result good job Yamaha, good job 
I don't need to say anything, I already told you this a few times. This is the town of Palazzo. Very, very good. I'm so glad that they preserved everything so well. What a building! <laughs> Municipio, municipality, I guess. We're going over there. We're heading to Siracusa now, which is on the coast. But the temperature became 37 degrees here. Very, very hot now. It's dropped to 34 now. And believe it or not, but 3 degrees make a big difference in your riding comfort. <laughs> this is the coldest place in the area. So we go to this shopping mall center to cool down a bit, eat something. Uh, because outside is very hot as you saw The stop that we have made here was just perfect It was cold, we ate, we relaxed, we got some espressos Now we are ready to continue going to Capo di Sud And then we'll follow the coast road and go back to Ravanusa It is 3 o'clock already This is the historical part of Siracusa it is very beautiful with these few bridges and the channels and of course beautiful buildings This fountain is very famous Now I'll show you how to imitate air conditioning This is what you need and then this and you're good to go for at least half an hour Nice street, and this actually they told me that this is a Spanish style building, less legacy from the Spanish. So, this is the top center and a typical Sicilian tourist area. Beautiful big church, and this fantastic design here. Very, very good. This is the church inside. Big and quiet. So these big beams, these big columns, are actually left. It was a Greek temple before, and after that, the church. It's actually not church. It's a cathedral was built on the foundation of the temple. So this was really an interesting tour around cathedral, but for me. I'm not a really religious person and all of this money spent in the name of God nowadays sounds like, I don't know, but it's really nice to see it. Ah, this was hot experience, but really interesting to see everything. So let's continue our journey now to Cape Sud. It is never easy to get in and get out of these touristic spots. A lot of people, a lot of cars, old roads. Nice to get the cost finally. Marza Memi The beach line Because it became like a, the trip of abandoned 
buildings <laughs> I'm gonna film this small boat as well I don't know what is the story maybe just they just wait for the tide when you see one or two of these coast towns they are all the same so nothing more to to see here just go to the southern port and then go back to Ravanusa. Beach is not bad at all. And the sand is good. They converted to a real resort. Kalodjoro told me that a few years ago it was nothing here. Now everything is bars, umbrellas, Cheslongs and so on and so on. This is definitely the most southern port of, of Italy. There is an island over there. But now the water is just too high. We cannot go to the island when the tide is low. It is possible. All right. Nice to be here. So, from here now to Ravanusa, we've got 190 kilometers. No highways. That means very, very strict three hours of riding. It's a bit too much for today it will be another ride in the dark but honestly i don't mind after this completed day it's all right it is 10:30, uh, but actually we stopped in this town which is 20 kilometers away from ravanusa and ate such a wonderful beef steak oh man it was fantastic and now with full stomach i have to wait the last 20 kilometers and i'm done for the day tomorrow i'm gonna hit north to palermo it will be another interesting day